Hello and welcome to the Sunday morning meeting from Colchester Salvation Army on today the 6th of June. Today is the 77th anniversary of D-Day when the Allied forces landed on the beaches of Normandy and began to fight their way through Nazi occupied France, risking life and limb for their country. We remember their bravery and courage as we ask ourselves, how can their determined heroism inspire us to be bold? We have God's never failing strength to rely on and we encourage you to remember that whenever you feel scared or weak. In our meeting today we're going to be singing together about finding courage in God, listening to some beautiful songs to pieces and enjoying a fun band piece with hopefully some recognisable tunes in. We're going to start our service together by singing Be Bold, Be Strong. It's only a short chorus and we're going to sing it twice through we hope the words and the catchy tune will make you feel brave for the Lord by your side. After that, Brani will pray with us. Let's sing now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Shall we pray? Dear Lord, thank you for your never-ending and never-failing grace and mercy towards us. Thank you for giving us the courage that we need to be your witnesses in this world. We pray for all members of the Colchester Corps family that aren't feeling very well at the moment. In particular, we think of Major Allen. We pray for Norman Hurry. We pray for Iris Pickard and also Tim and Jeanette Pickard as they care for her at home. We pray for Major Bev Joy. We hope that she feels better soon. And anyone else of the call that I've forgotten to mention that's feeling weak or sad or down. I don't know their names, but you do, Lord. And I know that you are caring for them. I pray for the coming weeks ahead as, lo as lockdown measures are due to be lifted further. I pray for anyone affected by the new Indian variant of the coronavirus. And I pray that everyone who can will take up the vaccine so that we can all get back out of this situation together safely. Thank you for being with us all here and be with us all through the next week. Amen. Now we're going to sing a lovely and poignant song called He Giveth More Grace, which talks about the never-ending mercy of God, how he will never give up on us and he will never leave us. We cannot ever truly understand the depths of God's grace. After that, we're going to listen to a fun songster piece. It's all about being strong in the Lord and how wearing the full armour of God will empower you with his strength. I hope you enjoy it.
That was a lovely piece of music. I'm going to have it stuck in my head for the rest of the day now. So today we're thinking about D-Day. Here in the Salvation Army, we are lucky to have Commissioner Harry Reid, who was awarded the Order of the Founder a few years ago, the Salvation Army's highest honour. He fought in D-Day, parachuting into France with the British forces. We're going to watch a video of how he repeated that jump at 94 years old. After that, we will sing one of Commissioner Harry's songs, God's Soldier. If you listen to the words as you sing, you'll see the references to Harry's experiences on D-Day. This will then be followed by a band piece played at Sydney Congress Hall. It's a fun little piece. I really like it and I hope you will too. It's called Daniel. First, Harry Reid. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. Absolutely, I'm breathless. Beautiful. Absolutely superb. Are you okay? Legs up, legs up. Yes. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Great work. That was too far. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.
Wasn't that a fun piece? We enjoyed listening to it and we hope you did too. In a moment, Guy is going to bring us the Bible reading. Then we will be singing a song written by Harry Reid and Dick Krummenhoek, Dare to be Different. It tells us to not blend in with society, but to have the courage to be different, to live like Christ. This is our bandmaster Adrian's favourite song, so you have to sing loud enough for him to hear you. I took you from the ends of the earth, from its farthest corners I called you. I said, you are my servant, I have chosen you and have not rejected you. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgraced. Those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. Though you search for your enemies, you will not find them. 
those who wage war against you will be as nothing at all. For I am the Lord your God, who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, Jacob. Little Israel, do not fear. For I myself will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I don't know if I could ever truly imagine what it must have been like for the soldiers on D-Day 77 years ago. What Harry Reid must have been thinking as he was waiting to jump from the air over occupied France. I wonder what he did to muster the courage to take that leap. Knowing what I do about Harry Reid from the inspirational video clips and hearing him talk at a Remembrance Day service a couple of years ago at Cambridge Core, I am sure that he was praying to God to keep him safe and to give him courage. I think we all thank the Lord for protecting him so we can benefit from his inspirational story and the wonderful words which have been made into powerful songs. So what can we learn from his story? Courage comes in many forms. There's the obvious abounding courage of D-Day veterans such as Harry Reid, parachuting into the unknown, highly dangerous territory to save the lives of countless people and to help start turning the tide against the Nazis and their dominance in Europe. But being bold for us doesn't often mean risking life and limb. Whether you need courage to stand up to a bully at school or in the workplace, perhaps to finally speak to a friend or neighbour about your faith and invite them to church, or maybe send them a link to one of our services. For some people, they're just seeking the courage to face tomorrow. How do you pluck up the courage for these things? Well, the answer is simple. We call on God for our strength. Our Bible reading from Isaiah 41 tells us that we should not fear, for God is with us, and he will strengthen us. This isn't always easy. Too often we allow earthly concerns to overwhelm us, and we feel helpless and small. But we are never alone. When we feel our strength is gone, we can lean on God, and he will be our strength. Therefore, take courage. When we feel scared, it's because we don't think we can manage a task, but with God's help, we can accomplish anything. God gave his strength to those soldiers on this date 77 years ago and enabled them to do incredible things and achieve amazing results. So whatever you need God's power for just now, don't be afraid to ask him for his help and his limitless strength in your situation. We're going to listen to the International Staff Songsters singing a beautiful piece called His Strength Is Perfect, which reminds us that we can do all things through Christ who gives us strength for his strength is perfect when ours is gone. I hope you receive a blessing.
Let's close in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for empowering us with your strength. We especially thank you for giving your courage to the D-Day veterans on this date 77 years ago. The effect on our lives is immeasurable and we thank you for the freedom that they brought us. I pray for those watching this, that wherever they need your strength in their lives just now, that you will bless it to them and that they will know when to ask for your help. In Jesus' name, Amen. We hope you've enjoyed our service today and that you feel empowered to find courage in the Lord. We're going to end our service with Cambridge Citadel's rendition of I'll Go in the Strength of the Lord. It features many different sections of the Cambridge Core family. Next week, Bandmaster Adrian Lyons is going to be leading worship. We will see you in two weeks' time. Now we'll leave you with I'll Go in the Strength of the Lord by Kamsa Church. We hope you enjoy.